Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied how to rotate the LEDs using PIC 16 F877 microcontroller. In today's video, I will show you how to interface switch with PIC 16 F877 microcontroller. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G and click on the bell icon. What is switch? A switch is a component that can disconnect or connect the conducting path in a circuit, interrupting the current or diverting it from one conductor to another. The most common type of switch is an electromechanical device consisting of one or more sets of movable contacts connected to external circuits. When a pair of contacts is touching current can pass between them, while when the contacts are separated no current can flow. As you can see in the diagram. Here is a switch. It is another type of switch. And it is another type of switch. Here is the symbol of switch. It has two metal one is movable. When we press the switch electric current pass from one terminal to other terminal. It is the electronic symbol of switch. What is switch bouncing? When we press a push button or toggle switch or a micro switch, two metal parts come into contact to short the supply. It might seem that the contact is made instantly. That is not quite correct. Inside the switch there are moving parts. When you push the switch, it initially makes contact with the other metal part, but just in a brief split of a microsecond. Then it makes contact a little longer, and then again a little longer. In the end the switch is fully closed. The time period between in contact, and not in contact is called switch bouncing. Here is typical circuit diagram, switch is connected in series with resistor. From this point we can take output. You can see in this diagram, when we press switch metal parts connect and disconnect several times, typically 10 to 100 times over a period of about 1 millisecond before the actual stable connection is made. This results the false triggering or multiple triggering like the button is pressed multiple times. Same thing is happen when releasing the switch. This time period is called the switch bouncing. How to avoid switch bouncing? There is two method of avoiding the switching bouncing. One software debouncing. Two hardware debouncing. Hardware debouncing types. 1. SR flip flop. 2. RC debouncing. 3. Switch debouncing IC. What is software debouncing? It is possible switch debouncing in software, while programming programmers add delays to get rid of software debouncing. Adding a delay force the controller to stop for a particular time period, but adding delays is not a good option into the program, as it pause the program and increase the processing time. Hardware debouncing. SR flip flop. In the hardware debouncing technique we use an SR flip-flop to prevent the circuit from switch bounces. This is the best debouncing method among all. This circuit consists of two NAND gates forming a SR flip-flop. As you can see in the circuit diagram whenever the toggle switches to the A side, the output logic gets high dot whenever, the switch is moving between the contacts to create the bounce, the flip-flop maintains the output because the zero is fed back from the output of the NAND gates. RC debouncing. The RC is defined by its name only, the circuit used a RC network for the protection from switch bounce. The capacitor in the circuit filter the instant changes in the switching signal. When the switch is in open state the voltage across the capacitor remains zero. Initially, when the switch is open the capacitor charge through the R1 and R2 resistor. When the switch is closed the capacitor starts discharging to zero hence the voltage at input terminal of the inverting Schmidt trigger is zero, so the output becomes high. In the bouncing condition, the capacitor stops the voltage at V in until it reaches to VCC or ground. To increase the speed of RC debouncing we can connect a diode as shown in the below image. Thus, it reduces the charging time of the capacitor. Switch debouncing IC there are IC available in market for switch debouncing. 
Some of the debouncing IC are MAX 6816, MC 14490, and LS118. Below is the circuit diagram for switch debouncing using MAX 6818. Project, How to Interface Switch In this project LED is connected to RC0 and two switch are connected to RD0 and RD1 pins of the PIC 16 f 877 microcontroller, and the microcontroller is operated from an 8 MHz crystal. LED is connected in current syncing mode and the value of the resistor is 260 ohm. When we will press the SW1 LED get turn on and when we will press the SW2 LED get turn off. Here is the project hardware we are using in our circuit. It is PIC 16 F877 microcontroller. Pin number 1 is master reset. Pin RD0 is interfaced with LED and we are using the current syncing mode of the LED and the value of the resistors is 260 ohm. Pin RC0 and RC1 are interfaced with switch 1 and switch 2. And 4.7 kilo ohm resistor are pull up resistors. Pin numbers 13 and 14 are the interface with an 8 MHz crystal. And 22 PF capacitors are connected with the crystal. Pin number 11 and 32 are connected with positive 5 volts. Pin number 12 and 31 are connected with ground volt. Let draw this circuit in Proteus. The circuit is ready now we will write its code in micro CPIC. Here is the window where we can write the code. I already wrote the code otherwise video gets very long and will copy the code. And I will pass here. Now I will define the code. S bit. LED. At port D. Bit 0. It is how we can give name to the microcontroller pin. This line define LED at port D pin D0. S bit. SW1 at port C bit 0. This line defines switch 1 at port C pin C0. S bit SW2 at port C bit 1. 
This line defines switch 2 at port C pin C1. Void MS delay. Unsigned char time. Here is function of debouncing delay. Unsigned char Z. Define variable name Z. For loop. Z equals 0. Z less than time. And increment Z. We are using for loop as delay. Void main. Is main function from here main code is start. TRISDRD0 equals 0. It will set port D pin 0 as output. TRISERC0 equals 1. It will set port C pin 0 as input. TRISERC1 equals 1. It will set port C pin 1 as input. LED equals 1. Turn off LED. While 1 is endless loop it will check the switch status. If switch 1 is equal to 0. Means if switch 1 is pressed. Call. MS delay and give value 5. This value depends upon your hardware. Wait for debouncing. LED equals 0. Then turn on LED. If switch 2 is equal to 0. Means if switch 2 is pressed. Call. MS delay and give value 5. This value depends upon your hardware. Wait for debouncing. LED equals 1. Then turn off LED. It will repeat the code again and again. Because we are using while one loop as the endless loop. Now we will create the hex file. Just click on the build icon. Finished successfully. File is created now we will load hex file into the microcontroller. Double click on the microcontroller. Select the hex file. OK. And click on the run simulation. When we press the switch 1 it will turn on the LED. And when press the switch 2 it will turn off the LED. If you have any problem with the code let me know in comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And keep watching Star Technology 5G.